If you're not already selling Instagram story highlight covers on Etsy, what are you waiting for? This product is so simple to make and it is high demand, low competition on Etsy. I was doing product research on Allura and I came across Instagram highlight covers and just look at these scores, 99, highlight icons, 80, story covers, 91. So definitely a lot of potential in this niche. I'm going to show you how to make highlight covers completely for free in Canva. And honestly, the hardest part about selling these is making these listing photos. So I'll stick around to the end because I'll show you how to do that too. The first thing you need to do when making your highlight covers is decide what kind you're going to make. You can make industry specific ones like these real estate highlight covers or these Botox highlight covers. You could do it by color palette, so earth tones or red tones or fall tones. You can make groovy highlight covers or retro highlight colors or western highlight covers, but definitely do some research and decide what you want to do. Personally, I don't like having to create more than, let's say, 50 covers for one listing. So I'm looking for listings with less than 50 covers in it that are actually making sales. I came across these Instagram beauty highlight covers. It's currently a bestseller and over 20 people have it in their cart, so you know there's demand for it. It comes with 20 pre-made highlight covers and you also get the Canva template link. I'll show you how to do it both ways. Before we jump over to Canva, do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to make money with digital products. On Canva, go to create a design and either type in or click Instagram story. I'm going to add a text box and then start making a list of all the highlight covers I need to make. You can go back to Etsy for inspiration. Now that we have our list, I'm going to add a new page and pick a color background. I like this black gradient color, so let's go with that. And now let's just design the rest of our highlight cover. We don't want to exactly copy other people. We want to put our own little spin on it. So I'm going to just add a circle. Now you want to stick to using the free fonts and graphics, especially if you're going to be sharing the Canva template link with the customers. That's because not everyone's going to have Canva Pro and when they go to download these without a Canva Pro account, they're going to have to pay per Pro element used. And the customers will not be happy. You will not be happy because you'll get one star reviews. So let's just avoid all of that and use only the free fonts and graphics. To give it a little bit more razzmatazz, I'm going to add a gold circle because it's looking a little boring to me. Again, we're going to filter by free elements and add a gold circle. Now that we have our base design done, all you need to do is add the rest of the words. I'm going to do that and then come back. Here's our finished product. We're going to upload these pre-made ones as finished files to Etsy and we're also going to share the Canva template link so customers can customize these to their own brand. So they can come and change the background color, they can change the fonts if they want to. If you're using elements with colors that can't be changed like this gold circle, you need to make that apparent in your listing so customers don't think they can change it but they really can't. And now let's download these as PNG files. Come to share, download, and PNG, and just download them. The highlight covers are going to download to your computer in a zip file, and this zip file is what you're going to upload to Etsy. Let's make another file now that will share the Canva template link with customers. Come back to Canva's homepage and make a design of 8.5 by 11 inches. I added a text box and type click here for your template link. Now we just have to add that link. So go back to your design, go to share, go to more, and then you need to find where it says template link. I don't know why Canva's kind of like hiding it now, but don't share the collaboration link. No, because this will edit your original design for everybody. So more template link, create template link and copy this and come back over here to this file now and click on that text box, hit more, come down here to link and paste in that link. If we wanna fill out this page a little bit more, we can actually add a photo of one of the covers. To do that, let's go back and unzip that zip file that we downloaded before. Now come back over to Canva, go to Upload Files, and drag and drop in all of these highlight covers. Now you can put one in there just to fill up the space a little bit more. You can definitely make this file a lot prettier. I'm just doing this as an example. 
But now you wanna come up here and name it something that indicates to the customer that this includes the Canva template link and you would download this as a PDF. The final step in this whole process is to create your Etsy listing photos. So come back over to Canva one last time. Let's make a new design of 3000 by 2400 pixels. I'm scrolling on Etsy now for some listing photo inspo. I really like the ones with like these phones mock-ups showing how the stories will look. But you can also just make them simple and easy like these. So let's just do this one because clearly it's working. It's a bestseller and it's the easiest kind to make. Now let's come back to Canva and go to elements, scroll down to frames and add in a circle frame. I think I'm going to try to get in all 20 of them here. So let's just try to size it correctly. Now that we have them all spaced out, let's start dragging in our highlight covers. This part's a little bit tedious because you're going to have to manually adjust these one by one. Now that we have those done, I think I'm going to make them a little bit smaller to make some space for some text up top. I'm going to add a text box and write beauty and hair you can do this with a canva free account but what i do like about canva pro is you get access to all of these pro stock photos for your listing photos oh i think i like that actually so this would be our thumbnail photo of course you're going to need more so let's copy this again what i would do is maybe delete half of these I'm going to add one more. This is the easy way to make your listing photos, but if you really want that Instagram mock-up that shows how your stories will look, I would go to Creative Fabrica. I absolutely love Creative Fabrica. You can get so many different commercial use fonts and graphics. Like literally, I can spend hours just downloading new fonts. What's cool about Creative Fabrica is that they also have templates. So let's type in Instagram mock-up. Included in your subscription are these Instagram mock-ups that are editable on Canva. So it'll just make things so much easier. You can just drag and drop in your story covers in these little circles here. If you want to get these Instagram mock-ups or you just want to try out Creative Fabrica and get some cool commercial use fonts, I'll have a link in the description where you can get 10 free downloads when you sign up. Coming back over to our listing photos, let's download these as PNG files. And now I'm going to show you how to put this all together and how you would upload this to Etsy. Over on Etsy, go to add a new listing and we have a digital file. I did a finished product and then just the year that you made it. Where it says photo and video, you add in your listing photos. Scroll down where it says digital files. We have to add that zip file, remember, with the pre-made one. So you just click that in. We're going to add another file, and we're going to add in the PDF with the template link. And click that in. So you should have two files uploaded. And then, of course, you need to fill out your title, description, and tags. You should be optimizing your shop so customers can find you in Etsy search results. If you need any help with Etsy SEO or picking the right keywords for your listings, definitely check out my Etsy Digital Profits course. I'll have it linked in the description. And that is it, guys. You now know how to make Instagram highlight covers. So go out, take some action, make your first set, and get them up in your Etsy shop. If you don't already have an Etsy shop, be sure to grab my Etsy starter guide. It's in the description. You'll get 40 free listings when you open your shop. If you got value from this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. I will talk to you next time and cheers to your Etsy success.